Okay, this video is my big thank you video to Ellen, uh, who sent me one of these uh, HD goggle cameras, which of course you wear on your head. One lucky person will be getting one of these in the Pulse Motor build up. Or it may have been two, I can't remember now. But um, I know there's at least one in there. Okay, what you're going to get, fancy box it all comes in, uh, protect the carry bag, spare lens, blue, in case you don't like orange, uh, instruction book, SD card, this one is 16 gigabytes, more than ample, your power pack for charging your batteries via USB cord, now, as you can see, this is, um, I'm guessing, the China configuration of a power plug, which of course doesn't fit into ours, so we had to buy this here UB adapter, which it now plugs into that bit, and this piece here plugs into our power points around the home. So, only nine bucks, and... Uh, should I actually think that the transformers I have will plug into that one there? Uh, you get your USB cable, and of course, the all important goggles come camera. The battery goes in this side, which you also get two of, and this is the camera part, and your SD card slides in that slot. It is also uh, capable of taking still pictures as well as movie files, so uh, very, very handy. And it is high definition, so um, excellent, quite excellent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put them on and uh, take a bit of video footage with that and whack it on the end of this one. So I'll um, go ahead and do that now. So we've got our goggles on and we're filming. What we're filming I don't know yet. Um, something I'll have to get used to. These are the batteries you get two of. 700 milliamp hour batteries. Two of them, which I forgot to show on the start of the video. Everything else you know. Um, having both hands to go through your project is indeed very good. Um, one is normally taken up holding the camera of course and makes things a little harder but um, now we can take our projects and we have two hands to work with our projects. What that is, well, you'll have to see a little bit later on. The only problem I've found so far, uh, being half blind like I am, I need to wear these glasses to see what I'm actually doing. I can't wear these glasses while I'm wearing the video goggles, so I'm um, going to have to come up with some sort of um, adaption. I'm thinking somehow we can um, put them lenses in that there frame. I don't know. We'll work it out. We always do. Um, so once again, Alan, thank you uh, also very much for these goggles. And um, regardless of the way this turns out, I'm going to post it anyway. Because like I said, I have no idea what you're seeing. <laughs> what I'm filming. Uh, normally you're looking through the uh, little LCD display on your camera. And you can see what you're doing here. You can't. Um, hopefully we're just seeing on the camera what I'm seeing with my eyes. So um, we'll see how it turns out. So that's it from me. Um, once again, thank you, Alan. Thank you very much. And uh, also a big thank you once again for your donations in the way of prizes to the Pulse Motor Build-Off, which is getting closer to coming to an end. Um, all of you out there building, I think you have a week left. Please post your entries even if they are not finished and just with a quick explanation as to what you had planned on doing. Um, and the planned end result and of 
course, after the pulse motor build off is finished, you can still finish that machine and post the results, see how close you got to your predicted results. Alright, that's it from me. Time to get on with a project. And uh, I'm going to give myself an hour on this one, maybe. And then I'm going to head off down to the workshop and finish rebuilding the motor for my ute. Once that's done, we'll be uh, back into the projects again. So, um, enjoy, have fun, and we'll see you at the finish line.